everyone, Dean on the street, host of the Dean Blackman Show, shopping here in New York City, Saks Fifth Avenue, with none other than one of my favorite friends, Dr. Faith Brown, counseling psychologist, radio show host, author, guest speaker, most importantly, my dear friend. Absolutely. Thanks for being with Dean on the street my today. My pleasure. Love shopping with you here in Saks. It's really special. Yeah. And what a day we're having here today. We are. Listen, I'm glad you caught up with me here because um, I came to check out some pieces because after such a long winter, I'm looking at having some pretty hot dates. Really? Hot this dates? Spring. Yeah, you know, hot dates oftentimes, this spring. listen, oftentimes we're in the winter time, you know, you're all bundled up and um, you get home, it's dark, and sometimes even in relationships, things can get a little monotonous because you're just coming in from the cold and what you want to do is just get things done, you know? So you can just get to bed and you do it all over again. But now, you know, it's spring coming in, it's kind of breathing new life into Man, everything. I see that. Feeling the vibrancy of I life, if you will, you know? So I decided to come over and, you know, shop, you introduced me to someone earlier and um, that just gave me the idea that, you know what, maybe I need to just kind of spruce up the wardrobe a bit because, again, you know, um, well, I feel good about myself, I want him to feel pretty good about me too. So, <laughs> so um, you know, it's a great time to, to just do it and, you know, many of you guys, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, September's going to roll around and we're going to have a lot of babies born because, you know, those winter months, people are kind of cooped up, right? But it's our desire now to go out and have a little fun, a little sizzle, oh. a little sizzle, you know, so, so maybe a cute, some cute little short dresses or short skirts definitely, or something like definitely, that, definitely. you know, and of course for you guys, you know, I'm sure that we can, you know, figure something out because when she sees you walking into a room, you won't hurt a gas too, right? So we're just kind of shaking cobwebs off of the relationship, you know, that's, you know, kind of uh, weave their ways together over the winter time and just kind of making everything fresh again for spring. Why don't we stay a little bit more on this topic of uh, cobwebs, okay? <laughs> okay? What I know is today coming into uh, New York City from mm -hmm. Long Island, from the, from Setauket, uh, all I can say is the weather must be 65, 68, it's, it's, it even feels warmer than that, okay? Mm -hmm. And all I know is it gets to be different in the city and the view and the scenery mm -hmm. because once again, you start seeing people wearing less clothes, mm -hmm. okay? And it's a great time, you know, April, May, June, July through August. Wow, for, for the guys? Yes. It's, wow, it's a, man, you walk up and down where we are, Saks Fifth Avenue, and you see, you know, you see quite a scene of scenery, okay? Yeah, there are a lot of So, why don't you talk a little bit more about uh, Dr. Faith getting those cobwebs out? Well, here's the thing, right? So, um, we know as women, particularly those of us who are in relationship or desire to be in a relationship, we have a couple of different lives, right? So we are business women, corporate women, we go out into the workforce and you know we have to do our thing. We have to be prepared for whatever happens during the day. So we may need on a corporate suit or we you know we may have on a cute little dress, but either way, um, self-expression is important. So even if it's a suit, there's a way to have an elegant suit on but that expresses our personality as well as um, our sense of self and self-image. So if that's a powerful image that we need to portray during a meeting, we can grab a nice, you know, white suit um, or red suit, if you will, and you know, wide legs and just kind of make it happen. Wow. And a woman in the city will throw on a pair of stilettos and it's really, really good. And then, you know, we need to be able to transition to evening. And sometimes those are business meetings in the evening or hanging out with friends in the evening. And as we transition, we want our wardrobe to transition. Wow. So maybe what you're experiencing is, you know, seeing women who actually go the gamut throughout the day. You know, so they're one way in the morning when they're having to report to, to their corporate offices, but in the evening they are hanging out with their friends or their significant others and they throw on a nice jacket or take one off, <laughs> off that nice little sleeveless dress, right? Or um, throw on a pair of stilettos, you know, toss the boots and put on a pair of stilettos. So it gets to be a lot of fun. Now let me ask you a question. When you came out to uh, to talk to the studio uh, twice to do 
uh, shows with me. <laughs> Obviously, it was the winter months. I think, uh, I think one of them you took the drive out. It was we had a, a major snowstorm, and you still made it out. Now, I met you today. You're showing a lot more skin, a lot lighter, a lot lighter clothes today. Does this, uh, it's, it's only April, does this, uh, May and June, will I see you in, in even even lighter, less oh, less less clothes than this? Absolutely. I mean, you're, absolutely. you know. You'll see us in color, a lot more color, particularly um, for me, I, I, I'm attracted to color. A lot of us wear a lot of black in the New York period, and sometimes we wear a lot of black just during the winter time. But spring is here, and as it gets warmer, the, the, the color is going to lighten up. I will go from long sleeves to shorter sleeves, and you know, depending on the day and what I'm doing, then yeah, you may know, find uh, summer trends to have a dress below the knee or maybe above. So yeah, and of course I'll ditch the boots. I can't wait to retire the boots. <laughs> can't wait to retire the coat. All of that. Uh, and having a nice pair is she of, beautiful? of great shoes. Hey, listen, uh, I know you're, you know, once again, you're a counseling psychologist. Mm -hmm. uh, this time of year, the spring and the summer, mm -hmm. relationships stronger this time of the year versus during the cold winter months. Uh, um, what would you say regarding that and any advice, any advice you might have? You know, it really is couple dependent, right? So oftentimes during the winter time, couples are kind of, you know, isolated within their homes. So there's a tendency to get a little closer, if you will, you know. We'll tend to be a little closer for an extended period of time, which is why September is a magical month. You know, because people are closer and it's dark outside. And don't let there be a snowstorm. Oh my gosh, you'll see the baby senses go way up, right? Which is great. Um, but then you have like this new beginning, you know, people are out, you know, fur moves are just, you know, all in the air. And you see people, they are attracted to water. And because we can be a little freer, if you will, you know, um, you may see your significant other across the room in the springtime. Looks a little different than he or she did during the, during the wintertime, right. you know. So it's, there's just kind of awakening. So it's not that one um, is a little hotter than the other, if you will. It's just different. And we can have fun despite the season. Now, I know when you talk about that, I know that when you and I walk out of Saks and we, we strut down Fifth Avenue, mm -hmm. I know that when we were preparing for our love show mm -hmm. and our Valentine's show and we were at uh, the love landmark yes. uh, that we took some great pictures with loads of people and videos and we prepared, I mean, you had your hat on, you were all covered up. So I mean, when you walk out with me, the way you look, to, I mean, you look stunning, you look well, beautiful. You. When you walk out on Fifth Avenue today, I mean, you're gonna see a lot more necks, a lot more guys' necks, yeah. you know, you know, well, moving. Well, that's a good thing. So that's always a good thing. Absolutely. But what you didn't see is me coming in this morning because it was still cold. It was right. Cold this morning. Right. And so because it's cold, and you know, in the springtime, we have to layer up in New York City. So we'll come in kind of bundled because I think it was about 40 degrees this morning. Right. But as you're stating, like a 68, 70 now, which is great. But I couldn't very well, you know, take my coat off and, you know, walk out like this in 40 degrees. And, you know, I get sick. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to take some things off and, you know, loosen up wow. a bit. So how much this time of year getting into the spring, mm -hmm. uh, the, the weather is so unpredictable. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, hot, cold, yep. rain, sleet, yep. snow. Yep. I mean, how much of your time do you, you, you have such a busy schedule. You've got your radio show now, you've got uh, <laughs> your practice, uh, book author, uh, speaking engagements. Yeah. How much time do you put into your thought process of uh, what you're going to purchase now, uh, what that fa what that wardrobe is going to be for spring and summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And you know, how are you going to deal with that? Well, there are a couple of things that I do, right? So um, I try to be highly organized. That's the first thing. So if there is a shopping spree on this, that I'm engaging, it's because it's on the calendar. <laughs> so I've blocked out time for that, you know, to make that happen because it's a little me time, and all of us need a little, you know, me time, time to love on yourself. So you know, block it out if you have to. That's great because you need to spend some time with yourself, feeling good about your choices. And I like to feel good in anything I wear. So when I walk out the door, I feel good. So how much time do I put into selecting things? There are two things that I do. There are occasions when I will talk to um, 
maybe one of the personal assistants on the floor and ask, you know, what's hot for the season, whatever mm. season that is, right? And they'll kind of point me in that direction. But then I'm pretty good with knowing myself. I'm like, I'm not a ruffle girl. Like, I don't like ruffles like down the front of me. So um, that's not going to attract me. Wherever that section is, <laughs> off limits for me. But that's just me personally. <laughs> Love ruffles on other people, just not on me. So how much time do I give it? It doesn't take a heck of a lot of time. Um, but then there are times when I may go in and I see absolutely nothing that I like. And that's okay too, because everything that I purchase personally, I have a relationship with, meaning I love it. Mm. If I don't love it, it doesn't go home. Wow. So that's a good rule of thumb, you know, for anyone who, you know, is kind of building the shopping bug. Love everything in your closet. If you don't love it, toss it out. Now I've got to ask you, uh, is there a budget or are you on unlimited budget? <laughs> well, I think, you know what, the budget depends on the person. Okay. You know, it depends on the person and what they want. I mean, you, you can get any high-end item that you want as long as you've saved to get that, you know? Um, and it may be one or two pieces. And I think most people just need one or two pieces to kind of spruce up the wardrobe. Um, and there are people who, you know, don't want to invest as much, and that's okay because fashion, you can find great fashion at every price point, which is a good thing. So for me, you know, if I want it, I'm gonna get it. And so it just depends, you know, wow. on where wow. we are with that. So I think that's just kind of personally dependent, you know, wow. how people like to invest in their work. So outside of uh, outside of your practice, yeah. uh, do you like coming into the city and, uh, during this time of year in spring and summer? Listen, I am I'm very fortunate because the city is just all the buzz with everything. So, right. you know, it has a pulse of its own. So I love, once I get outside of my practice, I love what I do inside of my practice. I love connecting and helping people if I can. I love that component. And then I like getting out and connecting. And, and New York has just the right heartbeat, just the right pulse, just enough options for you to get out and do literally everything. Well, listen, I know uh, we're pressed for some time here yeah. today. But I just want to say, number one, Thank you very much for becoming my friend. Oh. Thank you very much for being a part of my show. You make it easy. Uh, our friendship, <laughs> uh, it was great that we were able to come into the city today yeah, so and, and shop together cool. and have a have a, yeah. just an awesome time. It's incredible. Uh, I want to wish you lots of luck with your show. Thank you. Uh, I want to wish you a, a great holiday and, and Easter coming up. Thank and you. And all good things, lots of success. And you know the very best of health. Absolutely. Uh, and, lot, and lots of love to spread Absolutely. to everyone around the world. That's what, that's what you and I are trying to do, right? That's right. Okay. Spread a little love. So uh, thank you very much. Okay? Always my pleasure. Okay. To Great all, to you guys. To all Dr. Faith Brown, counseling psychologist, radio show host, dear friend, uh, book author, uh, speaker, uh, incredible lady, uh, dear friend. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank all our listeners for being here today and from all of us at the Dean Blackman Show. Have a great day. Bye bye.